change one moment in the history of college football to have maximum impact, a lot of you predictably went all the way back to 1992. Stop. If you're in my college audience, if you're in my high school audience, and you're thinking, this doesn't interest me, I wasn't born yet, learn something. Allow yourself to be educated for just a second. You're already educated enough to find the show. For that, I am thankful. But let me explain to you what the world used to be like. The world, in Little JP's day, used to be a lot like this. No conference championship games. They just don't exist. And then all of a sudden, there was one. The SEC got themselves two additional teams, and they had 12, and that was the magic number. And if you got 12 teams, you can have a conference title game. What's a conference title game? That was a popular question around the water cooler back in 1992. And then they found out at Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama, the Gray Lady, as they call her. Florida is number 11 in the country. They're 8-3. and three. Bama is number 1, or number 2, I think, in the country. They're 11-0. and 0. In previous years, that's the season. Bama goes and plays for the national championship game. But in this season, Roy Kramer, who was the SEC commissioner at the time, said, we're going to have ourselves a conference championship game. You're going to play one more game. Everybody hated it. Everybody. The coaches hated it. The member institutions nearly unanimously said, we're going to voluntarily risk knocking one of our teams out of the national championship picture when the rest of the country is just going to sit back on their couch and watch us? Like, how stupid is this? And it seemed really likely that you may have immediate regrets because the very first year they had the thing. You've got a national championship team in Alabama there has to go play another game in Birmingham against Steve Spurrier and the Florida Gators. It's 21 to 21, three minutes and change to go in the game. And everyone's biting their fingernails. And all of a sudden, Shane Matthews drops back, and he looks right. And he sees a receiver, but Antonio Langham is between himself and the receiver. And Antonio Langham returns it for a touchdown. Bama goes up 28-21. Clock runs out. I think that's the final score. So Bama punches their ticket to the national championship game. They drug Miami. They win the whole thing. What if that play didn't happen? And what if Florida just goes down the field, kicks field goal, they end up winning the game? Bama's out of the national championship picture. This has so many far-reaching ramifications, potentially. The first thing you have to ask yourself is, would they have ever played another SEC championship game? Because I know a lot of folks, after it was over and everyone looks like a genius, they can sit back with a cigar in their mouth and say, oh, we were going to play it regardless. You know, it didn't matter how much complaining there was. Well, okay. Find out how real it gets if you do have Florida win this game and Bama doesn't go to the title game and you cost your conference a shot at a national championship. Let's see how steadfast you would have been in that. And then, even if the SEC sticks to their guns, how quickly, or rather how slowly, do you think any other conference would have come around to the idea of having a conference championship game? Because nowadays, you know, like I said, our college audience didn't watch this live. And so you guys are just used to thinking at the end of a regular season, we have conference championship games. Some conferences have had them, done away with them, and then brought them back like the Big 12. But once upon a time, that wasn't the case. What, what you take for granted, what is the constant and always has been in your world, was at one time not at all. And I wonder if we would have seen the proliferation with the ACC and the Big 10 and the Pac-12 and and the Pac-10 at the time, and and the Big 12 and whatnot, would they have adopted that model? Because it still took a little while. I don't know that they would have adopted it so quickly. And uh, it's also interesting to note that the first ones, I think the first one or maybe two, weren't played in Atlanta. They were played over there in Birmingham. And then they went to the Georgia Dome, rest her soul. And uh, so now all's well that ends well, and the SEC championship is a big spectacle. But I really, I don't know that we would have that we would have gone down the road. It's almost like we could have been sitting here, Florida won that game, and we're sitting here, what were were the 30-year anniversary was last year, I think. It could be that that would be this footnote in history, that the SEC tried this thing one year, and it was called a conference championship game. Like 12 games or 11 games weren't enough. They're going to play another game. Because, by the way, there were 11 regular season games that year. So they're going to play 11 games, and... Then they're going to play this 12th game where they voluntarily put their title contender at risk 
and then the title contender fell, and so they scrapped the idea and they never did it again. It could be like New Coke. The SEC championship game could have ended up being New Coke. And if you, if you really want to throw your mind for a world, yeah, if you're in college or, or even, you know, a little bit older than that, go Google New Coke and check out what the fine folks at Coca-Cola once thought it in their best interest to do. When you got the best soft drink formula in the world, what do you want to do? Change the whole thing. When you got the best conference going, what do you want to do? Change the whole thing. Well, it worked out for the SEC. I can't say the same for New Coke. Ever since Atlanta stole Coke as an idea from Columbus, they, they were bound to have something like that happen to them. They didn't take Aflac from us, though, nor did they take RC. But be that as it may, Gene Stallings is another name that comes to mind here. You know, Gene Stallings is remembered universally amongst Alabama folks for winning that title, winning that SEC and then national title in 1992. If they lose this game, they don't play for that national championship. And there would be this great big void in Alabama national championship lore from winning their last one under Bryant in the late 70s to, who knows, I guess Nick Saban still shows up, but you know the butterfly effect. You know the butterfly, the chaos theory. You can't change one thing in the past and expect every other thing to have played out. So who knows? Whoops, this to say. But I will say, I do not think we would have just happily and merrily trotted along down the road to conference realignment and expansion and conference championship games nearly as fast if Florida had won that game. Guys, thanks for watching Late Kick. Make sure to leave a comment. I love interacting with you. But most of all, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's how we keep all of this free.